<laughs> oh, you love to see him. I wish he was here. I truly do. Yeah, it's always fun when there's more good players. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Crossy's cool. All right, so here we go. Katy Perry versus Crash Gear, Zelda Simon Three, Stadium. Two, you know. One, go. Yeah, no. All right. Ooh, that Bro, he's going for the elite. Speaking of elite, man. <laughs> Yo, Katy Perry's a Wi-Fi legend. <laughs> All right, he's got combos. Oh, Phantom is the wrong way. The wrong way. For sure. And I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what this matchup is. I mean, yeah, me neither. I know um, when Frosty and Misty Erica played. Frosty won 2-0 against the Palu, and then won game three against the Zelda. So, I, I don't know. Frosty didn't want to know against say. Zelda. <laughs> yeah, for sure, dude. Oh, I'll be out of shield, gonna be good. But of course, Zelda is... Okay, Ooh, dude, go bro. crazy. Go off, bro. I wouldn't do it for a million dollars. If there was a million dollars on the line, I definitely wouldn't uh, <laughs> yeah. my odds, bro. Bro, that axe definitely <laughs> skipped <laughs> her hair. Zelda got a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> for real, bro. Uh, I don't know why I thought that was so funny. Oh my goodness, that would be straight past. Yeah, as you know, Zelda does have that reflector. Loki the Phantom can, I'm pretty sure, block Rift House too. Did he just try right, to do that yeah. again? Kind of look like a gym, bro. You could be. <laughs> there was no reason to do that. You just yeah, gave bro. up stage control. You teleported but, off stage. <laughs> but like, honestly, like no meme, Like I super, super love the flex. Oh, oh that was nice. Goodness. Katy Perry, you're nuts. I'm sorry I said that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Dude, oh, man. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Go off, brother. I was. I don't even know if it was on purpose, but we're seeing. Some it was so nasty. I'll be actually right, yeah. gonna do it. Yeah. Zelda I think not the best DI, DI there. Yeah, but, for sure. Uh, but you never know. Ooh. Oh whale. Ooh, and they're gonna beat out the neutral B. Yeah, so much damage coming from that holy water. Holy water is so annoying. Ah, cool. oh, it's like chess, man. You know? <laughs> for, I love it. I, I, for real. Like, yeah, it's a meme on Elite Smash, but, like, man. I, I mean, no, yeah. yeah. They're, like, I, I feel like watching Patient play is pretty cool, honestly. For sure, because you know they're both, like, they're thinking so hard, like, unironically. You like, because you're, like, oh, yeah, like, how do I get in? How do I hit Zelda? Like, how do I get past the Like, there's so, yeah, there's a lot of things. For sure, like, bobbing and weaving through projectiles. Right, yeah. No, it's pretty cool, honestly. Yeah, for sure. It's, like, it's a mini game. It's an obstacle course. Yeah, like, some of these, like, projectile based matchups, I feel like, can, like, look boring on paper, and if you're just, like, kind of watching it in the background, but, like, if you just take a second to, like, think about what's going on and, like, how they're actually avoiding everything, yeah, it's, like, pretty real. cool. Exactly. Like, just watch the interactions play out like you know it, it's just different it's different you got to be in a different mindset to watch right yeah uh a bird of dog camping but crash be kind of running away with the stock oh that's gonna get rough like that, that was really nice pressure yeah that was so scary oh yeah i love hanging on there oh missing the edge cancel but i, I truly do love going for it Ooh. for some reason i thought he was about to just explode and die i like that attempt for sure to use the lingering uh neutral b Oh yeah, that would be definitely just caught Crash Gear pushing buttons. Yeah, I'm missing the edge cancel, but I, I do love going for it because that hitbox is still out there. You know what I mean? It's covered the ledge from the B. Oh, barely Crash Gear living. Oh my goodness, in the hurtbox shuffling when she landed to avoid the. <laughs> so much going on, bro. Get the yeah, get him out of there. Not the best DI, but I think at that percent you're dead anyway. Yes, yeah, probably. You no, know, get him moving. Get to the next stock. All right, you're safe. The way, like, Katy Perry plays to me is kind of interesting just because there's a lot of, like, like not button pressing. I don't know. There's a lot of times where he just waits and, like, uses that upbeat. It's it's pretty interesting. It's like, I don't really know what the typical Zelda plays like, so this might be just, like, entirely normal. Yeah, we're just, like, we're used to at least mad Zelda. Right. Know? But, yeah, just the way he's using upbeat to, like, just move around. And, and yeah, like, to like, punish? Yeah, yeah, like, to catch and push with buttons. You love to see it. Awesome, awesome to see. Because you do have to super respect the teleport. Because it is very strong. Crash Gear trying to up you out of there, gonna find it this time. Up you out of shield, so good for, for the Belmonts. Oh, Crash Gear shield looking low. Let's see if King Barry can bring it back. Crash Gear just walling him out, has all the safe control right now. All right. Yeah, just King Barry doing such a good job of just catching the push buttons. Oh my goodness. Kind of looks like Katy Perry's fishing a little for these upbeats at times. Where I think it might just be better to like hold behind the phantom and like just take center stage. Yeah, for sure. Oh, but down throw to sweet that's spot. That's damage, yeah. That's... Toes, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. That's gonna do that's... it. Ah, oh, yeah. Katy Perry stealing it from Crash Gear. Gonna take game one. That's crazy. That only gets like a few hits and just wins yeah, the game. For sure, man. Cause there was like a phantom in there, like a down throw, like back air or something, and then yeah, just like a fair. forward air. Yeah, yeah that's... man. Man, you're you're in it to win it, man. Never yeah, that... give up, for real.
that damage output on Zelda is kind of ridiculous. It's just so hard to like space a lot of those moves and like yeah, for sure. get the sweet spots consistently. Because like low key, like some I feel like sometimes if you space on Zelda's shield like the right way, quote unquote. Like, that puts you in the range of her back air. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the three spot of it, you know? And it's like, I don't know what the frame date on those moves, but, like, they're they're pretty fast. They're really fast, yeah. They're, like, pretty fast, and they're really strong. They're just kind of hard to space. Yeah, for sure. That's actually kind of interesting to think about. But then if you, like, space too close to Zelda's shield, you just get up beat out of shield. Exactly, so. up beat or even maybe up tilted if the move is yeah, lagging enough. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so Zelda, it's, it's weird to space against her. Definitely weird to space. Especially if you don't have uh, experience in the matchup. Man, honestly, in this game, man, you need experience in every matchup. Oh, yeah. Even it's, the, like, worst there's characters. So, like, there's some, like, gimmicks that you kind of got to know, like, to watch out for. And then, like, even past that, you have to, like, understand what their moves do. Yeah, for sure. Man, Katy Perry taking it. All right, so we're going back to stadium. I think that went really, really well. You know, it went down to the very, very last interaction, you know? Oh, my goodness. Just so tricky with the up oh, movement. Is that, that it? Death? Oh, no, he had his jump. Good job, yeah. For sure. Not punishing the high up B, though. Couldn't get there in time. Yeah, that's going to be a down throw back here. He waited for it, but then he didn't believe. Mm -hmm. Man, he knew in his brain, but he didn't feel it in his heart. Or maybe he did, you know, just expecting him. Because sometimes it's about the message. Right, yeah. Because, like, that crash, you know, damn, he was ready for that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows that he's not just going to down throw back there. He's got other other mix-ups. Yeah, for sure. Definitely would have fooled me. He definitely did fool me with that one. I love it. <laughs> and I feel like last game, Crashier was kind of in the lead the whole time, and now that he's not, it's looking a lot harder for him. Yeah, he's, he's going for a lot more buttons, you know, he's doing a lot more boost. Ooh, but that's going to be damage. I thought he was going to go for like a double down air up B or something. Yeah, same. Okay, you know, Crashier bringing it back slowly but surely. That F tilt being so good at the spacing. That move is like a DIY of spacing. Ooh! I love it. See, I like being, I, I like not being thirsty for a, for a hit there, you know? Because yeah. earlier we saw him try and dash attack that and get punished for it, but now he's just, you know, he's biding his time. Picking I, and choosing his options. Yeah, I feel like stage control in this matchup is extremely important because, like, they can both do so much when they have center stage. Like, Belmont with the projectiles and then Zelda just with the phantom. Like, it's... For sure, yeah. And yeah, that teleport is doing so good at just, uh, just catching Crash Gear pushing buttons, you know? Because he does have, you know, a decent, really decent amount of lag on startup for all these projectiles. And of course, the Ferrora's wind goes, you know, it teleports, so he's going to go through the projectile. And I feel like we've seen, like, Katy Perry mess up the cancels, like, multiple times, but what's, what's important is that he's not killing himself when he's doing it. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, all right, getting the sour spot. Crash Gear definitely needed that. This first stock is gone for two minutes? <laughs> Oh my goodness. These are how these matchups go. For real, oh, but wow. yeah, Phantom gonna swipe him out. Oh, oh Crash Gear, you don't wanna see that. Yeah, that's, he brought his hand up. Yeah, you, you don't wanna get frustrated versus a Wi-Fi character. And he's running an MPS match. Yeah, he's he got thirsty, but you know, it's not over yet. I accidentally threw versus Max. He's definitely still in it, you know what I mean? Yeah, looks definitely racking the damage. For sure, definitely going for it. Trying to go for the downer. I really like that option, because he probably would've got like an uphill up air, you know? Yeah, Crash Gear. I, man, it's never over, but you gotta keep your head in the game, right. Crash Gear. Like, you gotta believe you can win, you know? Like, if he gets a stock now, it's all of a sudden a pretty even game, but this is looking really hard with the way Katy Perry's playing. For sure. Good not dropping shield on the Nair. Oh, so, so good that, like, nice. when he hits Zelda, the Phantom disappears. Yeah, that's really convenient. Yeah, for sure. Because, man, that Phantom, they can, like, choose when to set it off. I didn't even know that when I first played Zelda. <laughs> Yeah, Katy Perry now is all the all the momentum, you know. This is looking very, very bad for Crash here. Yeet. That's the F throw. Nice. Yeah, see, even with better DI, he's just out of there. Belmont's have such a good forward throw. Which for real compliments the ledge pressure, you know, Because right? their ledge play is some of their, their best actions. Because like you're really tempted to shield against a lot of Belmont stuff, and then with like a kill throw is I mean, yeah, that just helps you out more. For sure, especially a forward. Kill right, throw. yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they're already going to have stage control. Because it's like so much harder to get like a back throw on, on a neutral getup. Yeah, exactly. Especially because they're going to be, they're going to have center stage. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. All right, not going to. Oh, oh, I yeah. thought he killed himself. Yeah, I did too. But even then, Crash Gear, no punish on the re-grab. Yeah. Crash Gear reeling back in his chair, but Katy Perry, stoic, man. He's in it to win it. But let's see if Crash Gear can bring it back. Oh, man. Yeah, of course. Nice up to cover himself. For sure, fighting the fair.
he's trying to read the roll. Ooh, Ooh that was a really nice way for sure. Yeah, I love the patience. Ooh, good parry. Good parry. Parry up tilt. Oh, wow. wow! Oh my goodness, Crash Gear. Yeah, just finding it all. Buddy. All right, but, but Loki, maybe he needed that, you know what I mean? To just get himself back in the game. That's all, you know what I mean? So back in it, he was down by so much, brought all the way back in the lead. But by still has control, keeping up the ledge pressure, for wow. For sure, he found the, the grab, you know, just ran up and did it. Oh my goodness, now Crash Gear suddenly has all the control. Yeah, wow. And yes. even then, baiting that out. For sure, man. Of course, Katy Perry did just got the ledge, but that's oh my god. Oh my wow. goodness. Dude, that was just an insane reversal, man. Yeah, what Dude, after the after he got that early stock, the top. Because it felt like the momentum, like, I mean, the game was, like, honestly pretty close for a lot of it, but it just felt like all the momentum was in Katy Perry's favor, like, yeah. ever since that first stock. Yeah, for sure. And then, man, what, that one... That was insane, yeah. Yeah, that F smash on the on the Phantom? Bruh. He literally, like, ledge trapped him for a whole stock. Katy Perry, like, respawned and then got ledge trapped for another whole stock. Yeah, that, man, phenomenal just... The momentum shift is and, real, yeah, man. It wasn't even just like he was getting hit by the same things. Like we saw so many different mix ups there yeah, for Crash. Like he ran up with grabs, you know. He, like he did the uh, the axe. the axe and then like baited it out and F killed it. For sure, baited, baited, baited the reflector out. Yeah, for sure, man. We got a set here. Yeah, we'll see if he can carry this set. momentum in the game three. For sure. Are we going back to stadium? I, I didn't think they see. picked Smashville. I wasn't really like, mm, no, okay. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, here we go. Smaller stage, which means both of their like moves yeah, this cover is, so much more space. Right, exactly. This is so weird because Phantom will cover the entire stage, but Belmont's projectile will also cover the whole stage. Right, so man, they're just it's probably gonna be a faster game just by their right. you know, there's not as much room. You know, they're gonna be hitting each other more. Like they can both be at the opposite side of the stage and it'll just feel like they other. both have center stage, you know? Yeah, for real. Alright, Cash is doing a good job of uh Yeah, well on them out here to start. Oh, okay. Right. Dude, it's just, I'm clenching, bro, every time. <laughs> man, it's so risky. Ooh, I love that, but can we parry by Crash here? Yeah, I feel like when you're parrying like weird options like that, like a literally like a teleport into you and like ledge cancel or uh, into like down air, like you're ready. For sure, but that reflect on the holy water is gonna do so much for Katy Perry. All right, just going for it, but man, it's just working. These upbeats are terrifying, dude. I'm. <laughs> it's terrifying for both players, you know. I feel like the Smashville pick is helping in that regard. For sure, not the best DI yeah. in the axe, but man, as we know, it can just change in an instant. Oh, I thought he was going, okay. Uh-oh, uh in the reverse taunt. Now Katy Perry's going to feel himself. We love to see it. I mean, if you're right. here, you just want to not get upbeat, honestly. Yeah, for sure. Oh, no, yeah. And Are we going to see another taunt? I would have uh, taunted. I don't know, man. If you taunt before you take this talk, I feel like you're <laughs> obligated to taunt. Yeah, when you especially if you took no percent during it. Ooh, but now... Yeah, okay. he had, he had to yeah. grab, so. I like the, the idea, though, yeah. The up, like the upper pass. Right, yeah, yeah. But he hadn't used it the whole set. Yeah, for sure. I guess PS2 just doesn't give the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Dude, Simon looks so goofy when he, like, super grabs. <laughs> Good parry up comes from Crash here. I feel like if you're Crash here, you just always have to be expecting an upbeat. Like, you have to think like think as if that's the only option Zelda will do. Because it's yeah. really the only one that you, like, can't react to that well. Yeah, for sure. Because if you're doing a move, you're going to get hit by it. You know? You, you got to you gotta anticipate it. Because if you do shield the upbeat, you have a lot of time to, like, get a, like, right. an, uh, an F-tilt even. You know, maybe even a down smash if you're super ready for it. It's like Zelda's only real, like, burst option, which is kind of weird. Yeah, right? <gasps> That Ooh. was that was smart, yeah. So smart for Crash Gear. Not trying to like force an aerial, just up you cover so much. Right. No taunt coming from him, so you love to see the respect. You know, in quotes respect. Yeah, no, respect. They, they definitely do respect each other, yeah. Uh-oh. <gasps> that leaked so far. Alright, Crash Gear living to see another day. Finding some extra credit, not too much though. <gasps> Ooh, that's gonna that's a it. punish. Yeah, unsafe down so coming from Crash Gear. This is last box, game three. Good roll on there from Katy Perry. Uh oh. This is everything right now. Yeah, finding a finding an up B gonna reflect that too. Oh no. Alright, good. Safe there. This is everything. This is so close. Gonna find a conversion. <gasps> oh, that that was such a scary interaction. This could be everything. That almost was everything. For sure. He almost won the game, but not quite. What? That was so finding, stale. Yeah. Either stale or just finding and, yeah. the sour spot. Yeah. I think a little bit of both. Oh my god, it's going for the upbeat anyway. This is so last stock, last hit. No! Yeah. You hate to see it end like that. 
Even yeah. Crafty was shaking his head a little. Yeah, that was such a good set, but... Right, right yeah, that was such an anticlimactic ending. Yeah, man, the up B was his downfall after all, you And know? yeah, like, like we, like, like I said earlier, the, I was like, I, he was doing all these up Bs and like, he was missing, messing up sometimes, but like, he wasn't killing himself, and finally yeah, there we exactly. see it. Yeah, exactly, the, the one time where it meant everything, you know, yeah. from Katy Perry. Hmm? It was good. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I was the impressed. The up to... Yeah, <laughs> I feel you, but you're, you're nasty. For sure, yeah. 